of the new I would say if you're looking to main Luigi for some reason, I would hate you, but if you are, Con Con is one of the best in terms of neutral. And that's one thing that comes from him playing this character all the way back in Brawl, all the way in 4, and even into Ultimate. His understanding of neutral. Alright, looks like we're looking for oh, a button, button check. Button yeah, check. yeah, okay. Of and I respect it. You know what? Before you guys go on match, you yeah, want to. Definitely do... on stream. You yeah, don't yeah. Do, button do a button check. You know, get your hand warmer in before you start. It's okay. Some players never like to go for a hand warmer, man, but go for one, man. It's. You use. There's so many tools you can do. Drink water, get a hand warmer, get some time to think. All that jazz. Right. A lot of players think it's all about in, 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 win, win, win. No, there's a lot of things that you can do right here in your head to get right. yourself ready. And that's where it becomes really, really important. All right, so as both players, it looks like we're going to be seeing a Ness and a Luigi matchup. Of course, we do have Elegant right in the background. Uh, he is wearing the hat, the red hat and the red shoes. <laughs> so definitely one of those players who is uh, also looking at, I think the funny thing is that Con Con and Elegant, as they both became, you know, the two strongest look out Luigi's at the time, mm -hmm. they've always gone back and forth with each other of, you know, discussing information, learning things and all together. And that's what I like about Con Con. Even if he doesn't know something as Luigi, even if he doesn't understand something, he's not afraid to go to Elegant. Like, hey, what did you do differently? What am I doing differently? What Like that, you know, that's the beauty yeah. of having somebody in your region who mains the same character. You're able to discuss those things. And also, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. I mean, I know some people that, like, don't really Oh, like no, asking. man. You got to grab life by your bootstraps. You got to do it on your own. No, it's you're right. Ask for help, man. No one does it alone, man. I've had help. You have had help. And I'm pretty sure many of you guys have had help. I've uh, <laughs> had help. At least I would hope so. But, of course, uh, that's enough about... I mean, we'll see who needs help here. Because it is going to be Ness versus Luigi. Right. I mean, Ness is one of those more characters that's oh. on the annoying side but he can also be very weak at some times if he's not able to get the stage control exactly whereas we see to, to, to go back to how there's two different play styles for luigi where we see elegant very tech and momentum based we see con con very punish and neutral based you can see how he goes for that ledge trump there at earlier versus how you would see elegant change his edge right up a little bit that's the thing about con con he is looking to play that neutral and then still punish Ness for it. And I like that empty hop into the up smash to take the first stock. Where is my opponent going after that? Where is he going to go for the invincibility? The ledge. Punish right there. Yeah, definitely interesting. Like, he told him, he showed him, like, I'm going to come get you with this jump. Nah, just kidding. I'm going to Look at uh, this. Th this is this is good neutral. Th look at that movement. That's that, that micro spacing he's looking against cats. It's just but, pure spacing against yeah, Ness. Like, it, it is a very strong bait and punish, very strong neutral, very good, very good punish game that we see from Con Con, that micro space is cool. You want to go from an aerial from across the stage, be my guest, I will punish you for it. Right. He does use that PK fire, that cyclone comes out, and the one thing that's very encouraging this game, in this game is using a spot dodge right after a move. It comes out a lot faster than in Smash 4, and uh, some people don't really enjoy Smash 4 <laughs> as much as this one. <laughs> That is true, that is true. All right. Oh, oh no. That, yeah, that up air being long lasting, multi hit, and higher knockback I don't than this older one. Yeah, and I don't even know if Kong Kong held the right DI. This is Town and City with a big blast zone. That's true. But nonetheless, technical flow here for Kong Kong will be up to Katz's opportunities here as we do see Katz finally get a PK fire. Kong Kong will understand how to F the FDI here and the opportunities to shield. And we see Katz slowly chasing there. Oh, fortunately, no back air for Katz as Con Con will use that tornado. Cat's getting back to stage, but that Cyclone just doesn't take a break. That was a nice dash attack to read that, uh, oh, that was good choice from to getting back to stage. Yeah, and that was good from Cats to understand the position of where Con Con was and try to get an opportunity there, even with the PK Thunder rocket as a hit. But what a great opportunity to see. Look at where Cat is at the ledge. Go for that Luigi Cyclone, and there's so much that you can have against him. Oh, he was trying to go for that force field there, and he's oh, interesting air dodge to get back to stage, but does get jabbed. Katz has got to find a way back. He's using these air dodges a lot, but they don't always they don't snap ledge immediately. It's actually after the animation and get getting back thrown back thrown by Con Con. Oh, using a PK Thunder. Oh, the green missile and the PK Thunder. They uh, they clanked. Oh. 
This is a good, no, I like that. A small combo for Kong Kong, not a full confirm here. But Kong Kong still has the stock lead, and I like how he's off the very, very far depths of the corner that is an upper. Excellent DI from Kong Kong. Because, of course, we saw how bad the DI was a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, he's like, uh, I'm going to make it back up to you guys. I'm just going to do better DI this time. Nice. Kong Kong looking for a safe place to get back on the stage. You see a little bit of that spacing, how it plays through. Kong Kong looking for that landing. Nice. He's even finding it on the platform, but Cat is trying to slowly inch his way in. 142. I like that nair trade from Cat. Able to slowly buy himself. Small heal. As you can see, Kong Kong, when... Cats is off stage, he goes in and then he like goes back on stage sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll like go in for the fair and then just come back just to keep himself safe so he doesn't get reversed. The one thing I've always appreciated about Concon, and I know it's been a talk about Concon all match long, <laughs> is he's not also afraid to Oh no. Oh. Cat. Dang, just that's the one thing that's very that sucks about Ness's PK Thunder is that sometimes you could just run into the stage. Like he had it right the first time, but the second time is like, oh no. Mm. Uh, but the one thing I've always appreciated about Concon too is he's one of those players who's not afraid to take time in the Angel platform. He will use that Angel platform to give him time to think. Right, he'll be like, all right, cool. I got about five seconds or so to think. What happened? How did I lose my stock? What is my opponent's next option? Those are things that you can also do, and Kong Kong is not afraid to do that. He, he, it goes to show him as a player. He, he, he understands the game and things that you could do in the game to still keep his head in the game. Right. Right. But for Cats, I do like the fact that, you know, he is. it's kind of rough for him because characters that are able to effectively space themselves against Luigi and keep Luigi out of pace, characters like, coincidentally, Richter, the Belmonts, even Kong Kong has faced the Fury against characters like Snake and Samus. Oh. Characters like that give Luigi a run for his money because they control a zone that Luigi cannot get to. But the thing about Kong Kong is he's more, like I said, he's more neutral base. You see that in his micro space and you see that in his control of his movement. And that's how he's able to effectively give cats that little bit of a fade away. All right, cool. You want to come with a forwarder from across the stage? That's on you, man. I will find the landing and I will punish you for it. Yeah. And it's up to Cass to try to see, all right, cool, is he giving me this much space? Let me just get back on the stage. It's not about what I can do from the stage, it's how I get back. How do I get back to get back into the neutral to get back into the game? And that's what I want to see from Cats here. The adaptation. Yeah, hopefully Cats can adapt to Kong Kong's Luigi. Since Ness is more of one of those characters that has, uh, that has those projectiles, Kong Kong will find a way to just have that micro precisely, that fair, space it, and it'll just be fine. It'll be safe. No. Yeah, look at that. No, pun no punish, the, no nothing. Speak of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and that PK fire is coming out, though, just racking up that damage. Yeah, PK fire, very annoying to a lot of people. But all you gotta do is pretty much shield it, but he, some Nesses do do it after, like, you do a laggy move then it's like a good opportunity to use it because of its uh, good speed and it's, and it's great range. That up smash though is gonna catch Cats off guard and is gonna take his first stop. He is trying to use those plungers though as uh, projectiles. Since it has, that, it has a lot of range, it can be very useful just to interrupt your opponent if they're, go if they're charging any moves whatsoever. Oh, nice parry of that PK Fire, though. Getting hit by the Nair. Hopefully he gets back to stage. Oh, man, that angled PK Fire, though. Oh, he does make it back. That was a great choice. That uh, descending plunger was a good choice. Yeah. But it didn't actually do the, the grab, which is Which is still good for Con Con because he sees, well, he's not clear to get the center stage yet. He noticed that from Cat. All right, cool. Cat still has most of the stage control. I gotta find my way back. It's okay if I land back at the same spot and then hit him with a projectile, hit him with a Zare. Because I'm still look I'm I don't wanna fall into a roll or into an air dodge that cats can get me with. But I did also notice we're on uh, we're on Smashville and Smashville's purpose is to make like make the two fighters like clash a lot more since there's less space and exactly. also Cats' projectiles will cover more ground. Well, it, it'll look like it'll cover more ground. A more, a bigger percentage of the ground, uh, like PK Fire. So it's gonna be harder for Kong Kong to just react to them since he, he'll be closer. Exactly, that, that little bit of space 
gives Kong Kong less space to run away from, as we saw in Town and City, where he can slowly micro space, slowly move out of that range. Right. Oh, two PK fires. He tried to go for a third one, but he wasn't. Uh, it did not connect. Ooh, just barely grabbing the ledge before he got hit by that dare. Another PK fire does come out. Ooh, he did use the drag down fair, but he didn't get anything off of it afterwards. Actually, he did get punished for it instead. Ooh! Oh! He's not dead. Okay, good DI. That was incredible DI. Oh, good nair coverage there. Wow. To cut the to Cyclone. Yeah, Cyclone. Incredible killing move. Multi-hit, and it sends them upwards. So. Exactly.